Hi everyone, it's me Julia Riley and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another video for my modeling playlist and it's going to be especially about taking polas or also known as polaroids. But before I start talking on this topic, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed, follow me on my social media, put some thumbs up, also comment below with some video ideas and maybe you have your opinion about this video. Also check out my giveaway video, which is available till August 12th. All the links will be below, like always. So, polas or polaroids are pictures that help agents see the natural beauty of a model. Usually, when taking polas, the model has her hair in a ponytail and sometimes on her back. Obviously, there are some main rules for these photographs and especially this one. The rule number one is the fact that you have to take the Polaroid photo in front of a window. The daylight is your best friend because it will show your skin the way it looks naturally and everything else in a beautiful way. The second rule is that these photos should not be edited, so you don't have to remove any blemishes from your face, you can't correct the color, everything should be in original. And the third rule is obviously for girls, you have to wear no makeup. That means no concealer, no foundation, no blush, no powder, not even a little mascara. You should be natural, don't do your hair, have it just in a ponytail. And now let's talk about clothes. The best option for you would be to wear a black swimwear, but if you don't have one or if you're too shy to take a photo in a swimwear, then you can wear black skinny jeans and a top maybe black also, that will show your body perfectly. I mean, they need to see your waist, they need to see your hips and see how you look if you're proportional. And now let's talk about the background. The best option for you would be to have a white wall behind you, but if you cannot find a white wall in your house or in a friend's house or in any other place, then find a background that is clean. I mean, do not have any photographs hanging on your wall don't have any toys behind you, clothes, uh, closets, etc. Just a nice background, the less the better. And now let's talk about the body poses that they require on Polaroids. Usually there are three main poses and this is the portrait photo so they can see your face structure, the profile photo so they can see your neck length and years and also how long is your hair. And the last one is a full height photo so they can see how you look. And the next one is optional. If you want, you can take a photo where you smile because they also like to see your teeth. Also, they like seeing your personality in your smile. Or if you don't want to smile, then just take a photo where you look relaxed. So as you already understood to take these photos, you need the help of someone else. You can ask your mother or any of your siblings or maybe a friend to take this photo. The main rule you should remember is that the photographer, well, the person that photographs you, should have the window behind his back and you should face the window. But if you don't have anyone to photograph you, then ask below and I will film a video of how to take Polaroids alone by using your iPhone. And that's it! If you have any other questions about modeling or about taking polos, ask them below, I will answer them here or maybe if I have enough time in my Q&A video that I will be posting today. Don't forget to follow me on social media and join the giveaway. Bye bye!